What's up and good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Look at this beautiful combo of trucks right here. Before we even jump into this video, let me know down in the comments, which would you guys choose? The OBS over here or Chris's uh, 1500 GMC? I know, it's a tough choice, it's a tough choice. So we aren't taking the OBS today, we are actually taking, so I guess that kind of makes our choice today, Chris's 1500 GMC. As you can see by the uh, fat scooter being loaded up in the back. And for those of you guys that haven't seen the, uh, the seat on the fat scooter yet, this is kind of what she looks like. It is seriously a perfect match to the interior on the Denali. Now the reason we're taking Chris's truck today is, oh jeez, dude, this guy like lays down in here. I don't know how he does it. Barely reached the pedals. But anyways, like I was saying earlier, the reason we were taking Chris's truck today is today's the big day that he's getting his full audio install over there at Ronnie's Electronics. There's gonna be a full underseat custom made box to match the truck. Um, bunch of amps, uh, new door speakers, I think extra batteries, all kinds of stuff. So I don't really know exactly. Oh, that's Chris calling right now because I'm late. I don't know exactly what he's doing. Um, so it's kind of going to be a surprise for all of us. Just fair warning to you. He's got a pedal commander on it. <laughs> that was a pedal commander. <laughs> so that means the gas pedal's extremely sensitive. Oh. So just be careful you don't put it through the wall in your shop. It'll be fun though. I don't Chris, mind. Chris, Chris won't mind either. <laughs> nah, Chris won't mind. So it's all electric. Yeah, we're clear. We're gonna clear no problem. Hey, John, you think Chris would have cleaned the truck out for right. you, huh? Typical customer, bro. <laughs> See, I'm telling you. At least I, you know, we found some surprises under my seats, but at least I kind of cleaned it out. Oh, let's see what we'll find under his seats. <laughs> I started my water bottle collection in Chris's truck. Yeah, water bottle and a little. Yeah, you gotta have your protein, protein shake, shake, dude. Yeah. yeah, dude, John's not messing around. John likes these trucks. <laughs> it's a little nicer than the Ford, huh? Hey, same one as mine. John can pull this thing apart in two seconds. The beauty of a Chevy, bro. You ever, work at a, you ever work at a chop shop? Nope, but this is close enough, actually. <laughs> a lot of you guys have been saying that I need to do a whole sound system on the BBB, and the reason I've been avoiding it for the longest time is I don't like to see things. On those types of trucks, I like everything to look clean and factory. And to do kind of what Chris is doing today, you're gonna have to raise the seats up, you're gonna end up putting a big box with some eights right here. To me, if we could hide it behind the seat, it'd be a no-brainer. I'd already have it done. But I want to see today how Chris's truck turns out to see if I, it's really going to convince me that we need this. And uh, four eights is going to be a lot. So John's removing Chris's seats right now because we're going to put in the seat lift similar to what Wes has on his truck. But obviously, we're not splitting Chris's seat in half. It's just going to raise the seats up, I believe, two and a half inches. Damn, bro, you're giving Chris all the ferrets with that wire? This is all going in Chris's truck. Jeez, throw it in the bed. And then we'll just <laughs> run a pigtail to the front and a pigtail to the back. So Chris's truck has the bow system which comes with the factory amp mounted right behind that little flap there of rubberish, whatever that is, sound deadening something. There we go. You gotta take this off to get to the dash threes. Gotcha. So they're pretty much taking Chris's interior out of the truck. Um, there's a ton of room back here though. Once you take the seats out and you push the front seats all the way forward, you can see the Bose factory speakers, just how little those are. Those things are not very big. The front speakers are bigger, and then you've got your speakers up in the dash up there, which is what John's working on getting to now. What are you doing on this thing? Dude, you're the perfect size to fit up in there. Holy uh, crap, yeah. dude. Got you, you don't need a lift, huh? You just yeah. crawl right up in the wheel well. New, everything new spindle, new brake? Yeah, new brake. Fully bagged front and rear. Yeah. Compressor, tank. So I think I've been here for like two hours already, and I still haven't exactly seen what Chris's setup is. Chris has been real secretive about it, but since we're here, Adam, what is Chris getting? We're gonna let the cat out of the bag. We're gonna do some DD Audio Neo Pro speakers. These are uh, pretty badass. They play really loud, really efficient. You see the build quality on these. So, like, a, unlike a normal speaker, these are not ferrite magnets. These are Neo Mags. Oh, dude, he's getting no ferrets. No ferrets. Wow. So these are them. A little futuristic look. So that's what's gonna fit in his front doors. We're gonna do the CT28s for the tweeters. That way it can fit in factory location. As far as the amplifiers, you do Chris with the D, uh, D4100 for the four channel. That's gonna power all of his door speakers. It's, uh, and then for the bass amp, his bass amp's over here. Woo! DDM3. This, this thing's big, bro. Yeah, this is a tank. This is the M class. This is their top of the line amplifier. Um, some of the best Korean boards on the market. How many watts? A lot. All the watts. All the watts. All the ferrets, all the watts. Perfect. Um, now we're hoping uh, we can squeeze about three to four thousand for his under seat. That way we can maximize those speakers. Do we get to look at his box? Where is it? it it's missing. Oh, 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 I see it right there. You want to walk around? Oh, yeah. Damn, dude. That box looks sick. Nice and clean. Flush mount. Four 1508 supercharged with the copper cap. They uh, built those for us, obviously, to match his theme of his car. 
We got a little plexi insert to remind everybody it's a GMC. In case you forget. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, we know with the black and brown trying to match the same theme that the car's got going on. So DD Audio custom made these for Chris with the bronze in the, uh, I don't know, what do you call that? Composite. The composite. Composite. Bronze composite to match Chris's wheels. Then they had, dude, that is clean, bro. Was that acrylic? Uh, yeah, so you got a plexiglass on plexiglass, and then this is actually wood that we painted in house. And then you got the two ports on the side. Um, I'm sure your angle is probably a little bit harder to see. Them. There you but go. DD Audio Air Aero ports, uh, that way we can hit that nice low base. You guys know the 1 8. The one supercharged DD Audio 8 that I have in my truck. Are these the same version of those? Uh, this is one level down. Uh, yours is the ESP technology. Yeah, one level down. It's all right, Chris. <laughs> but it should, it, you know, it's still going to knock. So he's got four essentially of what I got. It's too much. That's gonna be too much. It's never too much. It's never too much. It's never too much. Dude, this is gonna. Should have cut the bed and done four fifteens. No, that's too much. <laughs> so all these newer trucks, John, is it just plug and play for the the aftermarket speakers? Uh, pretty much. You just cut the factory end off, do your own end. Gotcha. Save the ends with the factory speakers in case somebody wants to go back to factory. They still have the ability to. Yeah, we got some zero gauge, hundred percent, hundred percent copper, sky high car audio, and we uh, upgrade them some SMD fuse blocks, make it look a little bit cleaner. You know, the connectivity is a huge uh, process. So we got the sky high fuses, SMD fuse block, all the way front to back. Um, we're gonna do a big three under the hood. So if you guys aren't familiar with that, it helps with the charging of the vehicle. Obviously, we're putting a, a large system that's gonna take a lot of current draw, so the charging's key. Um, all the way through. What do you think about the sick air intake install that I did? That's top of the line right, right there. Right, thank you. That's top of the line. Yeah. I mean, it did make his truck slower, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> I did a great install. So Chris is actually, aside from running his regular battery, he's going to be getting a lithium battery put in as well, right? Yeah, we're going to be doing a limitless lithium 15 amp hour. Um, they have a beautiful tray under the hood on these new Chevys. Um, unfortunately, we can't do that because lithium is uh, very temperamental to heat and uh, we don't want any issues. So the battery's not going to get mounted here. They're somehow going to squeeze a battery in behind the back seat. Obviously, once the seat lift goes up, everything will be a little bit higher, but it will fit in this area right here, no problem. So the second battery of Chris is going to get mounted in here, which will be essentially behind and on top of where the box is going to go. Now on these newer trucks with the newer head units, what do you got to do to be able to make sure your system's like compatible with all the crazy computer systems? So we tap into the factory amp. This car had a Bose factory system. We're going to use a DSI that you've seen previously in the OBS. Um, high level in, all prepped up, ready to go for it. That way we can use the factory signals and you're going to all have uh, aftermarket amplifiers and we'll have a full adjustable tunability on it. So for the front speakers over here, the, from the factory they are what, five by nine? Four, six by nine. Six by nines? So the factory six by nines, we built uh, custom little templates. This one needs to be dusted off and we're gonna fit the six and a half. Acoustically, the six and a half does sound better. Um, it's a natural sound wave with the circle, so the six and a half is gonna help us get a little bit cleaner, better sound overall than the six by nine. So these were the original factory ovals here. Yeah, these are the top of the line uh, factory bows set up from uh, Chevy. There you go, uh, for sale. For sale, you know, this is the D-Max Rhino special. Well, you guys know it wouldn't be a day at Ronnie's without our, our buddy, the ice cream man coming. Maybe today, maybe today I can buy it. What's the offer today, how much for the truck? Truck? Yeah, how much for the truck today? I'll show you. 2500 No, no, no. No 2500 No, no, no. 2500 no, no, no. you keep all the stuff. It's like a thousand in inventory, no? You mean three. 300 No, 3000 3000 Yeah. Ah, uh, I can't That's afford 3000 Check it out. It's, it's expensive. The, 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 does does it start now? It runs no problem? The transmission is almost brand new. Brand new transmission? Yeah. Like Adam steals it. He, he ain't got no problem. He just take the keys. Look at Adam just takes the keys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I buy it from him. <laughs> All right, I'll three dollars. Three dollars. Three dollars. Oh, I like it. Better deal. <laughs> three dollars. Hey, let's been, go for a ride. Yeah, he lets me go for a ride. What? Uber driver right here. Dang, man, I'm missing out. Man, I look. What's oh, going to happen? Look. Street slicks, dude. All right, hey. twenty-two hundred. It needs new tires. Hey, 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 no. No? What's up with the dead chicken? No, this is my chicken. <laughs> what is that? Put it You like dead chickens? Yeah. All right. What about what? Sometimes we're weird. Cow. Oh, you got the dead cow? Oh, you got my, the... My dog, Chihuahua. Your, your Chihuahua? <laughs> Is that really your Chihuahua? Yeah, yeah. You kept the skull from yeah. your Chihuahua. Hey, look. What the... Almost, almost 20 years. Woo! It's the uh, last eight years die, so... And you kept it? Yeah. You're crazy. <laughs> no, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> okay. How do, you, how do you get a health permit with dead Chihuahuas in there? <laughs> what the? So we got a little surprise here for you, a little project you might see on a future video. So if you guys remember the deleted L5P uh, Jake's truck that was on the channel not that long ago, he came back a couple days later to Ronnie's to give, 
fully set up with a sound system just like Chris's, but he's gonna run with a different style box. And we think his uh, subs just showed up here. Some more DD Audio stuff. A little surprise. We uh, tracking show Tuesday, but FedEx, you know, coming in clutch. Let's see what they. Oh yeah. Whoa. Those look sick. So he's going with an all blue and white theme to match his box, which is over there. But we don't really want to leak what his box looks like yet. So we'll just show you guys what his DD Audio supercharged subs look like. Look at that. The same subs as Chris's, supercharged and everything, just with the white cap on the blue logo. Should look real good in his truck. So the thing I like about DD Audio is like you can tailor the subs to kind of fit the look of what you're going for. So Chris has like the sick bronze. He decided he's got a white truck. He wants to white and he wants to do a little blue accent to match kind of the stuff he's got under the hood. Should look real good, flow real nice with the box and everything. Wes, talk, talk to us about the seat lift here. LMI Welding. Uh, they make them for like Ford, Chevy. Don't, don't, uh, don't call the guy and, and piss him off and tell him that there's something wrong with his product because he'll cuss you out. So <laughs> got that firsthand. These are LMI Welding seat lifts. You can see they're pretty simple. Just uh, basically a C shape that they make yeah. to lift the bench seat up two and a half inches. With a cheap little powder coating, they uh, they throw it all in one box with some peanuts and uh, they get chipped up as they ship. What review do you give them on Amazon, Wes? Uh. <laughs> yeah, everybody's getting real excited. Put it in my truck. So we got this for the this BBS. <laughs> I mean the BBB. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> What is the BDS? BBS? It's the new truck. All right. <laughs> this thing's crazy. 115 pounds worth of speaker. Wes, step your game up, bro. That's like one month's paycheck. <laughs> 2019. First one ever made. That's what it says? Yeah, it's yeah. number one production. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Is it number one on the bottom? Wow. We got the first one. It's right here at Ronnie's Audio. Yep. Been special ordered for like... The first one sold, though. If you want number two... Not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> What's the price on this? For the D-Max Rhino Special on YouTube, 4,500 bucks. Six Two month for 9,000. Six, six month wait. <laughs> That's crazy. What are you gonna power up here? That engraving's <laughs> sick. Hand built in Oklahoma City, all steel. You got the, the red ring on the inside too. Mash it up, full composite, ooh, full composite cone. So to get Chris's uh, massive amp to fit back here, John's having to remove the middle seat belt, which we've already cleared with Chris. We've had to make a lot of executive decisions for Chris today. Oh yeah, I thought you owned it. Well, I'll, I'll be Chris today. Yeah, I got no problem with that. Remove it. Take all the seat belts out. He don't wear them anyway. Cut the bed, right? We need yeah. seat anyway, bro. Yeah. Can we just do a lap bar instead? Yeah, I like your style. So one of the reasons that I brought the fat scooter today is we're still trying to figure out the audio and what we're gonna do on here. We're trying to see if there's any room to mount uh, amps or anything like that, or the, what do, what do we need? What are we looking for? A uh, step down? Yeah, like a step down DC to DC. Takes the high voltage lithium and drops it down to a 12 volt that'll run an amp. So we're trying to figure if we got room for all that and uh, it's gonna kind of require taking this thing apart. And I did just see that, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, right there, right there. We got a nice screw in the tire, but still holding there, so I think we're good. So here's what the battery looks like on the fat scooter. We've just dropped the plate. So for those of you guys always wondering where the battery is on this thing, it's actually just tucked up underneath the deck. So I don't know, we'll see. We're talking with fat scooter because fat scooter offers like a factory installed um, audio option that they won't sell just to normal consumers. So we're trying to see that if Ronnie's can purchase it as like an authorized installer and then maybe we'll get it set up that way. Oh, and look who showed up. What's up, Chris? How you doing, man? Chris's seats are back in on the seat lifts. Let me let me get out of John's way here. Dang, bro, your, your battery on your Milwaukee's bigger, right? So remember when we told you earlier that Chris is getting a second battery? Well, the one that he's supposed to be getting is still in transit, right? When's, when's Chris's other battery coming? Hopefully in a couple weeks. A couple weeks, Chris's battery will be there. So in the meantime, we've got this little booger right here. You're telling me this is enough. That's about half the capacity of the normal battery. So it'll do all right for now, just during break-in period not send it full tilt, that way the subs can loosen up. The Dude, it's, it's crazy how light these things are. <laughs> Hold on. Does it cause cancer? Always. Hell yeah. All right, good. 49 states that's free cancer free. Oh yeah, but California causes cancer, right? Extra cancer in Cali. <laughs> oh, there's a box going in. Woo! Does it fit? Of course. So now that Chris has the seat lift done, he can actually fold his seats forward. So you got full access to the amp that's mounted on the back wall back there. John's gonna get the uh, whole sub box wired up. They've got everything pigtailed out. All right, Chris, this truck is uh, pretty much done. Adam's gonna do some tuning right now. We're gonna get Chris, let's see what music Chris got. <laughs> Well, 
guys, Chris's setup is all installed, and let me tell you, those four eights are absolutely insanely loud. They're finalizing some tuning right now. I'm using Chris's headlights to finish up this video. So hopefully you guys can still hear me. Uh, my camera ended up dying, and I don't have an extra battery with me today, so we're working with what we got. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now. That way you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to check out Ronnie's Electronics if you guys want any audio work done, whether you're local or not. People ship their vehicles here all the time to get some awesome audio work done. Don't forget to give this video a like, a, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out WorkForWithApparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be able to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah.